here we go. I'm going to take the first shot with this rifle standing because that's the easiest way to absorb a lot of recoil from a big rifle. And I'm going to square off to the target. I'm not going to shoot across me this way. That puts more pressure on the shoulder. And this puts it into your chest and helps you rock back. Should be about the same as, well, a little bit worse than a 375 H&H &H Magnum. Got to get used to that safety. on a video. Ah. You alright? Yeah. Notice how I kept that rifle up in there? Yeah. Took all the damage on my back. Well, that, that was embarrassing. My guys tell me this needs to go on YouTube. I'm not so sure, but I guess they're probably right. It's embarrassing when you're supposed to be a professional shooter and you get knocked over by a rifle, but I've got an excuse. I wasn't really knocked over. It pushed me back enough that I moved my back foot to catch myself and I stepped on a, a rolling little rock and that put me over. Yeah, it's embarrassing, but I think we need to explain that this is real life. Stuff happens. Just because you're supposedly an expert doesn't mean you can't screw up. And I screwed up big time this time. But listen, if you want to know how a big kicking rifle should be handled, watch this next video because we do it right. And it really doesn't kick all that bad.